Well, this lesson is going to be quick and easy, so buckle up. Recall the factorial function with a while loop. When we deal with variables, we often do this, change their values by adding something to them or multiplying them by something, or simply adding or subtracting one. Like many other programming languages, JavaScript has shortcuts for this. Instead of result equals result times counter, you can say result times equals counter. The result will be the same, this is just a shorter way to write it. And you can do the same with plus, minus and divide. Adding 1 to a variable is also very common, so instead of counter equals counter plus 1, you can say counter plus plus. The same goes for minus, counter equals counter minus 1 is the same as counter minus minus. These are the increment and decrement operators. There are two ways to use them, and it's easy to understand with an example. If you put plus plus after the variable name, this is a postfix notation, then the actual adding happens after the value is returned. This is why b is 3 here, it gets the value before a is changed. If you put plus plus before the variable name, this is the prefix notation, then the actual adding happens before the value is returned. This is why b is 4 here, it gets the value after a is changed. But in the end, in both cases, a becomes 4. This is the updated factorial function. Here it doesn't matter if we use prefix or postfix when incrementing counter, because the value is not being stored anywhere else. This code is a bit simpler and shorter. Having a loop, this repeating code, with a counter controlling the repetition is a common thing in programming. That's why, in addition to while loops, there are also for loops. They kinda have built-in counters. Here is the same factorial function, but with a for loop instead of a while loop. There are three expressions. First, initialize the counter. Second, loop condition. Just like in a while loop, this loop will repeat while this condition is true. And third, counter update. How to change the counter every step. And then goes the body, the code that's going to be repeated. We don't need to change the counter in the body because it's going to be changed thanks to that expression above. 